enjoyed this week's episode and please like this video, share with your friends and doc mates and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us get more viewers like you. Hey y'all, we're back, uh, back at the boat. Where else are we? There's, there's no place else I'd rather be. And if I have free time, I wanna spend it on the boat with you guys. But really I'm here alone. <laughs> But I like to think you guys are here with me. Um, all right, but for today, it's a really quick trip to the boat. Um, I am, you know, it's a work week and I got a kind of a big day tomorrow, but I'm just here to uh, get things ready to paint this bilge. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, okay, okay. I know you guys are sick of seeing this view. <laughs> Quite frankly, so am I. But I think we are in a good spot to start painting. Um, all of this is scrubbed out, cleaned out. Yeah, there's water down there, but that's normal for a bilge on, a, on an old boat. That'll get vacuumed up and then we'll towel, towel it all dry and then we will start painting it. Oh my gosh. I don't know how long this has taken, but it's been a long time and it's gonna look so good when it's done. And we got this really cool special like marine gray paint. It's a two-part epoxy paint. We'll probably go into that in a future video. Um, but right now, I'm here just to get things ready for paint. And by what I mean by that is I'm taping things off that we don't want painted. I'm just here to tape things and because tomorrow, we'll come back here after work and really hit it hard to get the first coat down. Yeah, so not much to see today other than for a good paint job, preparation is key. So that means in this case, cleaning, sanding, patching, filling, fairing, sanding, patching, fairing, filling. Tons of effort has gone into this. So. Uh, I'm really happy that we're here at this step, and um, yeah, it's going to be amazingly beautiful, white, crisp, clean, and for the most part, nobody's ever going to see it, <laughs> but we will, and you guys will, and you'll know that we did the right thing and did a good job. All right, so we're here. It's a Saturday morning. We are gonna paint the bilge with that epoxy paint. And so let's talk about where we're at so far. So Matt has, you know, done all the things we've seen in the pre previous videos. And you can see here, he's got most of this taped off um, that we don't want painted with the bilge epoxy. Even down there, he, cause <laughs> I love him. So our, as we've stated before, we're very happy about the pristine condition of our keel bolts. So Matt was pre protecting them. So he put some um, cups over it. So <laughs> anyways, so we are this morning here uh, it's been sitting for a few days, so we need to do a little bit of like bilge dry out and then acetone. Um, and then I need to put together the area for prep because I will be doing the uh, mix of epoxy and paint and then handing it to him while he slops it on all the places. And this is like real, like we've got to be like all hazmatted up. Like we're literally covered from with, with respirators. So. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. Um, so we'll get this set up and then uh, get this so you can see, watch us do our action. Uh, pretty excited to get this white.
Hey, babe. I like your suit. Are you going skiing? Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> uh, hi. My name's Tyvek. Okay. What's yours? I think the fumes are getting to us. <laughs> the fumes. <laughs> fumes are definitely getting to us. Oh, okay. Where are we at? We have taped. We decided to tape instead of use the cups. The cups were a good idea, but they were kind of not working. They were popping off. Even when I taped them, they were popping off. We've got everything. All the vertical surfaces have been acetoned. So now. We're going to start back in here and work our way out and up. What do you think? I think this suit is hot. Yeah. I'm ready for music. You want some music? And you I want need that bucket. Look at Devin's station she made. Isn't that amazing? Like everything is like protected and all set up. Show, show them how you taped the, like one of the tools. Oh yeah. Uh, so. The drill. Yeah, so you tape that off. Just because, you know, we uh, use this for other things and we don't want it to be a throwaway. It's not a throwaway, it's a little too spendy. Uh, this is a throwaway, so. But we're just trying to preserve what we can because this is what I use to. Mixy mix. Mixy mix. And then uh, I did the same tape job on the two brushes down there. Oh, yeah, right here. Because mm -hmm. I wanted to be able to reuse these mm -hmm. handles, but we'll see. Yeah. It may not work, and we may just, whatever. Yeah. Toss it at the end, but. <sighs> Are you ready? I think so. Feeling good? I'm nervous. Why? I'm excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Can you imagine this all perfectly bright white? No. Gleaming. Okay, let's get it done. I'm ready. You ready? Ready! Ready! All right, let's do it. Check it out. <laughs> Look how shiny it is. Gosh, it's so cool. It looks wet, but it is not. It is like a solid, solid shell. <laughs> it's so neat. Oh man. It feels so good to have this painted. Look at that. It's like a just so beautiful. So I'm here with doing the satisfying job of uh, taking this tape off. <laughs> I'm gonna keep working on this really satisfying job and uh, the after pictures are gonna be amazing 
Oh, yeah. Cleanest bilge. Probably in the world. I'm going to say cleanest bilge in the world at this moment. In a couple days' time, probably not. But as of right now, we have the cleanest bilge in the world.